Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's really wonderful to see you all. And I can see Janet there. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> <laughs> and Rosie and Cinco and, and everybody, it's really, really, it's an honor to, to be with you here. And uh, I, I wanted to start by, by uh, extending my condolences to everyone that have uh, lost someone in the pandemic. Because it's, it's a really, it's a difficult, those are very difficult times. and. And my heart goes out to, to everyone that are suffering and, and, and uh, you know, getting, getting sick somewhere that, where there is no uh, healthcare system and, and, you know, being alone. It's, a, I mean, it's very difficult and, and unusual for us, but actually the, the virus has been with us, I think, from, from day one. And... Uh, it reminds us that we are a part of a, a bigger, bigger world. So, and also it, it, many, many uh, things we're doing differently because of the, the pandemic. Like for example, we are all here together and, and uh, zooming each other, which is <laughs> quite unusual. And, and, and quite wonderful. I, I think may, maybe some of the things we're doing might be something that we, you know, keep doing. So we have positive things to, to learn. And, uh, and also from, from maybe working at home, uh, I was thinking maybe just from the point of en environment, our problems that, for example, if, if uh, people would work at, at home maybe just one day at week it will make a tremendous uh, difference i think so it's uh, we're, we're forced to to learn new things and 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 i, I will say something about the environment uh, later so but we, in Iceland, we usually, we are, are uh, very few people, only maybe it's the half of uh, the population in San Francisco. So it's, uh, it's um, also being, being, being a small nation is, is a strength in, in, in times like this because the problem becomes very ma much more manageable. And uh, so we always think about being a, a tiny nation is, is uh, something uh, negative or something. We can't do this because we're so small and, and we're so few. And, but, but at times like this, it's, it's, a, it's a real strength. So I, I think maybe I, I I'll say something because it's always safe to talk about the weather as well, because we, <laughs> in Iceland, we, we have uh, difficult weather. And today is the first uh, day where I, I could actually, this year and for many, many months, I, I can, could take my coffee outside, which is incredible. <laughs> and, uh, we, we have all the, the birds migrating from Europe and, and, and uh, so it's a wonderful time. And you can see it's, it's uh, six o'clock in the, in the afternoon and it's still light and it will light, be light until maybe nine or 10 in the evening. And uh, in June, in 20th of June, uh, 22nd of June, we, we will have the light all, all 24 seven. So it's a, it's a, it's a time where, where we, uh, we treasure th this time when, when everything comes alive and we can hear the birds and we can see the, the sun and we can smell the, the summer 
is coming. We, uh, in Iceland, we have a, a sanka, which is called Nautai. Uh, it, it's, it's the, uh, it's called, uh, it's, it means uh, night pasture. And uh, I, I was just thinking about, uh, I think, uh, Rosie, when, when he, he came in 1987, that was the first time he, he came to Iceland. And uh, we have come a long way since then. And because of his, uh, uh, the way he, he comes every year to teach, and, and it just, it's so, uh, I'm so grateful. You know, who, who does something like that? Come to, come to a foreign country somewhere in the North Atlantic Ocean to, to teach and it's so wonderful and uh, I'm so grateful for having had the, the courage at the time and, and, and still to, to follow and, and to have him as my, my teacher and, uh, and, and also to have um, the honor of, of uh, Dharma transmission from our uh, lineage. We are uh, two people here in, in Iceland, Helga Kimio Roshi, who is, is, I believe, also in one of the frames, little frames on the Zoom. And, and she is, uh, she is a, an, an honorary Roshi here in Iceland. And um, the person that also kept on practicing. And, and, and there she is, Helga. <laughs> So um, yeah, we we have come come a long long way. We are uh, from sitting in someone's uh, living room uh, to buying our own place, and and last year we sold uh, that place, and now we have a new place. And so it's a, it's a very it's um, things are going pretty well, I would say. Um, And just to say a little bit uh, about myself, maybe someone doesn't know me. I, I didn't even say my name. My name is Senki. And I'm, I'm usually called Valdis Senki or Ostwalder Senki. And, <laughs> and uh, I uh, met Rosie, I think, in 1997. And uh, as, a, as a young man, I, I was... Uh, I was looking for someone uh, to fix fix me. <laughs> I was looking to for some some uh, method to to fix myself because I I wasn't uh, feeling great at the time. I was a pop musician. I was playing uh, gigs on on weekends, and uh, I had a, a family. Uh, my uh, former wife and, uh, and kids and, and things are but at the time I think maybe it, if, if someone had asked me are you feeling well I would say yes because it's uh, it's easy to see others uh, other people suffering but it's sometimes it's very hard to to see our own and and uh, and I don't know, for, for uh, at, at the time, I don't know, just, just to meet someone like Rosie and to, to walk into a, a, a practice like this and, and, and just not, to, not just to, to uh, participate, but, you know, being open um, for not knowing. It's a, it's a, it, I don't know why it ha happened to me, but I, I, was, I was just ready. And it's just the suffering that brings us together, like the virus today. We can, we can uh, already see it brings us, it brings the whole uh, wisteria wind sanka together like this. 
and, and we look for, for practice. And uh, at the time, I, I, I was, uh, of course, you know, it's very natural to come and, and uh, wanting to, to fix, fix things, fix myself. We're, we're, uh, we're uh, brought up in the spirit of fixing. We, uh, we fix our car when it breaks. We, uh, we fix our houses when they leak. And, and we try to fix ourselves when we are not feeling well. And it's, it's very, it's natural. And that's, uh, of course, where the image of lotus is in, in the Buddhist, Buddhism, the, the suffer, our suffering is, is like Thich Nhat Hanh says, no, uh, no mud, no lotus. So no suffering, no uh, awakening. So we, we awaken through our suffering because our suffering brings us to, uh, to the water but uh, we don't always drink. It's, 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 it's said you can bring a horse to a water, but you can't make it drink. For some reason, I, I was able to, uh, to drink, to, to actually uh, practice, to, to step into this, this path, this wonderful path. And, uh, Fixing, fixing things there, it's okay. Of course, we should fix our car when it breaks and fix our roof when it leaks. But, but we should also know that uh, the world of fixing is, is uh, endless. It has no beginning and no end. There's always something to fix. And uh, we fix something and then we're happy until something breaks again. And, and we bring this, first we, we bring uh, this method of fixing to, into our practice and then into our path. And this, this uh, actually uh, fixing mind or separating mind is, is is actually fueled by uh, greed, anger, and ignorance. It's, it's fueled by uh, uh, the next thing we can fix. And uh, the fix or, or the, the high we get when we are able to fix something, we, we are kind of uh, addicted to that kind of fixing. But I think maybe one day we, we might not be able to fix. And uh, uh, so what can we, we do? But being open and, uh, and willing to accept that we don't know. No one has ever been able to, to say what life is actually but yet we are alive we are something that we we cannot say so our uh, our suffering of having been born and uh, getting old and getting sick and and, and dying Actually, it's, uh, it's not a problem to be solved or, or fixed. It's more a mystery to, to uh, live and to, to be able to, uh, to sit with the uh, unknown and, and and not try to fix it. 
that's a wonderful way of, of engaging in life. If we, uh, in practice, we, we learn to be open, Uh, towards the, the great mystery of life and to embrace the unfathomable and to embrace, embrace life. It's very beautiful. And it includes everything. The Because, uh, because life is not something that happens to us from outside. The virus uh, is not happening to us. It's the part, it's part of, 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 our, of the things we can uh, embrace because that's the way it is. Everything comes down to as it is. When we can, uh, we feel our suffering as opposed to being happy. But when you feel the suffering as not being opposed to anything, it's just part of life. And, and then you can have a, a wonderful relationship being a person with a separate uh, a mind that can only separate in a world that is not separate and we can have a wonderful relationship wonderful life um, we can go from uh, from thinking and fixing to seeing and allowing to feel and allow, to, to see the world and allow it to happen. Because the world is already enlightened. It's already awakened. We are already enlightened. And let me, let me just read something from, from Dogen. Uh, Dogen Senshi. Uh, from Genjo Koan. <clears throat> Enlightenment does not divide you, just as the moon does not break the water. You cannot hinder enlightenment, just as a drop of water does not hinder the moon in the sky. The depth of the drop is the height of the moon. Each reflection, however long or short its duration, manifests the vastness of the dewdrop and real, realizes the limitlessness of the moonlight in the sky. That's very beautiful. Because it's, it's the world that uh, cannot be fixed because it's already happening and it's not divided. So we are uh, hindered by our uh, belief in separate self. But being broken is, is a complete in itself and being fixed is complete in itself. So So we can, uh, through practice, we, we, can, we can find a new framework. We can find a new way to relate to our world. And, uh, and we, can, we can know where all the raindrops land. And when you when you know where they land, you can say they have no place to land on. 
And when you realize that there no, there's no place to land on, you can say they all land on my roof. Because you, you include the, the world that cannot be fixed. So the world actually doesn't, uh, never, never stops to, be, to come into existence. Not in the way we, we uh, look at existence. Uh, not the existence uh, opposed to not existence. But it, it exists not opposed to anything. So that's the, that's the great uh, path and the great teaching of Zen. Um, practicing is, is a, it's a great uh, contribution to the world. It's a great, great contribution to, uh, to peace, to real peace, and to uh, alleviate or to end suffering. Really, we should, we should uh, be encouraged to, and when one person does, does something like this, uh, starts to come to, to Iceland every year for more than 30 years. It's a great, great contribution for all of us. Because we, uh, it gives us the opportunity to, lead, to look very deep into our existence and to transform our suffering. That's the truth. That's really the truth. So uh, maybe I, uh, I wanted to say a little bit about uh, when uh, when is enough? Uh, that divorce, which is the which is a, a a great waterfall in in Iceland, which is the second uh, largest waterfall in Europe, and uh, can you? I, I'm, I wanted maybe to show you, you a picture of it, but can you imagine like a huge waterfall with, with a running water, like a huge, you know, all the sound and, and everything like pounding and, and flowing. And then can you imagine that uh, instead of water, uh, it's petrol or oil. And can you imagine that someone puts, uh, lights a, a match and, and throws it and, and, and lights it on fire? The second largest waterfall in, in Europe. And then you have approximately the same amount of oil per second that human beings burn. It's the great fire of greed, anger, and ignorance. Or maybe uh, we should just say it, you know, greed, anger, and stupidity. I mean, it's, it's when, when is, uh, I think it's the greatest thing that we, we can, we can, uh, that we can do in our life is to find out what's enough. And just to sit down with, with uh, and embrace the unfathomable life. That's what practice does. It helps us. And I think, I believe, 
you know, I don't think I, I believe in this. This is the way because it doesn't fix. It goes to the root of suffering. And root of, of uh, the fixing mind. So I hope uh, uh, science will be able to fix and to help before everything. And, and we can somehow fix it. But uh, I think one day we, we might not. <laughs> So, I think uh, this is this is what I, I I can say now, and I don't know if if uh, there's room for questions or anything, but but I think maybe. Maybe this is it. <laughs> I came in late. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much. I can see uh, Peter, Peter Pocock and uh, hello. 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 <laughs> Everybody, it's, it's, it's really, it's so wonderful. I miss you all. It's, it's so... Uh, <laughs> And I, I, I wanted to come, come this uh, for, for August, but, but may, maybe I can't because of the, the, the whole thing. And, and, uh, right. But, but I, I'm sure I, I will we'll see you all later. And thank so. you. We invite you to Virginia, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so there much. either. <laughs> yeah. Just see you, Wally. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Take care. You too. Be safe. Elga. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Hello.